Hey everyone, this is Abdul Hamid. I'm back again with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to create this house inside After Effects and animate it like you can see on your screen. So without further talking, let's uh, jump into the tutorial. Here I am in After Effects. Uh, this is the comp that I created earlier. This animation was created entirely using shape layers and a few keyframes. So first of all you have to create a new comp. So click here create a new comp. I'm gonna call it uh, animation 2. Press OK. So here is our comp. First of all I'm gonna create a background layer for that. Right click go to new solid. I'm just gonna select this uh, white color right here. Uh, let's name it BG background and lock it so we don't mess with it uh, during the whole uh, animation process let's start creating the house uh, so we'll be using only uh, shape layers so right click go to new and uh, shape layer uh, let's name it main body now select the main body and go up here and uh, select rectangle tool uh, press and hold shift key to create uh, a perfect square like this go to align tool and align it in the center so it's right in the center after this uh, right click and create a new shape layer let's call it top body uh, go to the shape layer like this and add poly star like this so we've got a star uh, on our top body layer uh, go to poly star path 1 and uh, change the points from uh, 5 to 3 so we have a rectangle r like this right now after that uh, just go add a fill to the top body layer and change the fill color to that orange one that we used in the main body now scale it up and place it up here like this you can zoom in and play with the scaling so this seems fine now select both of them and move it down like this now as you can see the top layer seems a bit stretched out uh, so for that uh, select the top layer uh, go uh, go up here and select pan behind tool and uh, place uh, this anchor point uh, right here so as uh, the anchor point is placed right here select the top of body move this point down like this let's create uh, the door so for each part of the house like door window uh, and the chimney I'm gonna create a new comp so let's create the door and uh, for that I'm gonna create a new comp and name it door select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this align it to the center by using the align tab right here and now let's change the color of the door uh, I've downloaded this uh, color scheme from Google you can write color scheme uh, for graphic designing in Google and you will get uh, something like this so I'll use this color scheme these are uh, five colors and I will use uh, only these five colors uh, through the entire video so let's name this uh, uh, shape layer to door body and bring down its properties so here is uh, the fill and change its color to this color after that uh, just create a new shape layer let's let's call it door top select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle something like this now place it in the center move it down a bit like this and bring down its uh, fill color which is right here and change it to something dark like this now let's create uh, another shape layer for the door knob so right click shape layer let's name it door knob now press and hold the rectangle tool 
and select the ellipse tool. Select the door knob layer on the timeline and press and hold shift and draw a circle like this. So this is our circle, the door knob. I'm going to change its color to something dark. So this looks fine and place it somewhere here. So we are done with the door here. Uh, now go to animation to composition and bring down the door to composition that we created right now on top of uh, these two layers. Now let's go to the door composition and uh, press Ctrl plus K so we can resize the composition. Just uh, lower the width value something like this. not too much but uh, just make a composition where the door fits so the door is placed now now let's create a window I'm gonna create a new composition again and uh, name it window and uh, scale the width and the height Let's uh, make it a square of uh, 800 and 800. A right click, create a new shape layer. Name it uh, window body. Go to the rectangle tool right here and create a rec uh, rectangle. Something like this. Place it in the center using the align tab. Go to its color and uh, change its color to blue. So here is my blue. I'm using the color scheme. After that, uh, right click create a new solid. So uh, name it grid. Just like this. And go to effects and preset and type in grid. And drop the grid effect on the grid solid layer. Now move this point away until you have uh, something that looks like uh, a window. Uh, go to the grid effect. As you can see I have tried my best to perfectly uh, place uh, the grid uh, on the edges of uh, the solid layer. After that go to the grid layer and uh, increase the border value something like this now duplicate the window body and place it above the grid and uh, change uh, the grid track mat right here to alpha mat now go to grid again and play play with this point until you are satisfied with your borders Seems like we are done with the, our window 1 uh, composition and uh, let's change the color of the borders. Uh, I'm gonna choose grid and drop a fill layer on it. Like this. Now let's bring the color scheme picture into the comp. Select the grid layer and go to its fill effect. Select the grid layer and go to its fill effect and uh, change the fill color to this uh, dark color. After this, uh, select the color PNG that uh, is uh, our color scheme and delete it. So we have uh, all the colors uh, from our scheme. So the blue and this dark bluish color is also from the scheme. Let's press again Ctrl plus K and uh, bring down the values of composition. After this go to the animation tool layer and uh, search for the window 1 which is right here and bring it down into the timeline and place it where it belongs which is right here. After that uh, uh, create a new comp for the chimney uh, which will be placed right here and another window comp uh, which will be called the window 2 and uh, place uh, the window 2 right here. I will just fast forward the video so you just get the idea of what I am doing and uh, where I am going with this.
so now as you can see i'm done with the, the windows and the chimney uh, we have to change the colors uh, of our top body and main body as uh, it seems a bit brighter uh, compared to the other colors so i'm just gonna go press and hold control and uh, bring down the properties of main body and uh, change its color after this i'm gonna create a new shape layer and name this one lower body let's go and select a, a rectangle tool and create a lower body something like this after that uh, go to the color of the fill of the lower body and change its color to uh, the dark blue that uh, we have from our scheme and then select uh, the lower body and go to align and align it to the center after this you can play with its uh, size so I'm gonna scale it down now let's create some plants behind the house and in front of the window so uh, for that I'm gonna create a new comp again and name this green plants so here is our green plants and change the width and height to 800 and 800 now go and select ellipse tool and create some random circles like this make sure to fill the gaps uh, in between the circles now select this uh, one shape layer and go to effects and presets and type in fill drop the fill effect on the shape one and change its color to something green so we are done with this composition go to animation to composition again and uh, go to project and search for green plants that we just created and drop it beneath everything just like this now place it uh, here you can use the rotation property so this one looks fine now duplicate it by pressing ctrl plus D and place the duplicate version here you can scale it up and rotate it uh, by using a rotation property just click on the W key on your keyboard and you will have access to the rotation property I think I'm done right here with building the house now it's time for the animation which is the most fun part in these kind of uh, motion graphics projects so let's start the animation with the main body so first of all let's uh, uh, play with the anchor points of each layer so uh, this is the lower body uh, go uh, select pan behind tool and, uh, and grab the anchor point of lower body and place it uh, right here Now go to window 2 and uh, the center looks fine go to window 1 and uh, let's place it up right here go to door uh, I'm gonna place this one on the top just like this go to top main body and it is already placed uh, right here and I'm fine with this go to main body and uh, this one should be placed right here at the bottom go to chimney let's place this one at the bottom too go to green plants let's place this one right here and the green plants to this one right here let's start with the lower body and uh, uh, press s on keyboard go 20 frames ahead uh, uh, by pressing and holding shift and now pressing page down so that's 10 frames ahead page down again that's 20 frames ahead and uh, create a keyframe for the scale right here now go to the first frame again turn off uh, this thing now change the scale value uh, to 0 only the x value that is 94 right now change this one to 0 so the animation seems something like this when the animation stops go to the main body which is right here press S on the keyboard go 20 frames ahead 
by pressing and holding shift and pressing page down one and two that's 20 frames ahead create a keyframe come 20 frames back right here and uh, deselect this thing and uh, change the y value for this layer as we want uh, the motion in y axis so i'm gonna change the y value to zero after the animation uh, of a main body ends just go to the top body and uh, do the same by pressing s to bring down the scale going 20 frames ahead which is right here and uh, creating a keyframe for the scale coming back 20 frames and uh, deselecting this thing and changing the y value to zero That is how simple it is to animate this house. For the sake of tutorial, I use this simple house so you can learn the basic techniques of creating a house in After Effects and animating it. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and press the thumb up button. And if you have any question about the tutorial, you can drop them in the comment box right down below the video. And I'll try my best to answer them all. Signing out. Peace.